Hey Polish fiends, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, as you could tell by the title, I have something completely different to share with you guys today. So today is Sunday morning and I thought I would take you guys along and show you my cleaning routine for my bedroom slash nail space. So as you could see, everything is absolutely all over the place and it is an absolute bomb site. I have been doing some nail designs for up and coming nail challenges I have to share with you lot. So everything was all over the place I spent all Saturday doing nails so um, come Saturday night I just pretty much washed my face and hands jumped into bed and that was my lot so I woke up this morning to an absolute disaster of a bedroom so I thought I don't have any nail art to show you at the moment since I'm currently working on those videos so I thought I would take you along and show you guys the process of me cleaning the mess of those up and coming videos so I'm really gonna go in deep and make sure I've polished everything up tidy up all the rubbish and I'm also going to sort out my drawers and things like that because as I've mentioned I've been doing a lot of nail art so I've been going in and out of them and everything is all over the place so if that's something you guys are interested in then just keep on watching So jumping right in with this clean with me, this is the very first time I've showed myself on YouTube and can you actually believe I am still in my pyjamas? But I promise I do put myself into some clothes further on in the video, but this was very first thing in the morning and my first step was to take a rubbish bag and go around my room and pick up all the trash that is supposed to be in the garbage and put it away. So things like cotton pads and all that stuff that I used last night, I am going to just pop in the bin along with any trash from our movie night and all that good stuff. So that's the first step I like to do and as you can see I slowly work in a circle and I the first step always is to pick up the garbage and then I just kind of feel like it gives me a little bit of an idea of what's supposed to be done. And then once I've removed all of the garbage, I'm now going around and putting everything back into its original place. So I started at my desk with the gel polishes and then I go around my room and everything that's not where it's supposed to be, I put it back into its original place. And then I feel like once I've removed the surface mess, everything really isn't as bad as what I originally thought. So it gives me that motivation to keep going. And then once I've cleaned up a certain area, so as you can see, I was just currently working on my other half's tall boy. So this is where he houses all of his deodorants and aftershaves and all that stuff. So I just go ahead and remove all that, polish up his trays, polish any of the photos, the shelves up above it and all that stuff. And that's his side of the sort of our room done. And then next I move on and do the exact same to our sort of media center. So I will go ahead and wipe off any of the DVDs, his Xbox, the Skybox, the TV and the Alex drawers below as well. Then moving on from our media, which is sort of in the middle, I move on to my desk. And now, as you can see, I'm just putting everything back and cleaning off any gel residue that is left on my desk with some nail surface cleanser because it gets my polish cloth in a mess. So I'm putting away the acrylic, I'm putting away all of the bottles and then I go ahead and take that pledge and also um, a mic microfiber cloth and wipe off my desk. I also do the same with my makeup storage and the shelves and things like that on that side as well. And then once I've done that, I move all of the products that are on my desk that's supposed to be in the glitter drawer. I take it over there and now I'm going to show you where I store 
all of my glitter and all that good stuff so as you can see the drawer is a complete mess it's full all the way from the like the front to the back and it's got various brands so what i like to do is just go ahead and unpackage anything that has recently came in the mail and also add back anything that i've taken out and then I will also go ahead and make sure I've put all of my gels and nail art and stamping supplies back into their own specific places. As you can see, I store all of my nail art in this mam dresser. If you would like to see an updated nail art and stamping collection and storage, please let me know because I have lots of new storage bins and all that stuff, so I could definitely show that to you guys. So once the circumference of my room is clean, I then start to work on the bed. So before doing that, I just pull everything that is on the bed, all my cleaning supplies, anything that I've stuck there to get it out of the way, and also the little dogs that never seem to be off my bed. No matter how I try, these little buggers just think they own it and are on it all of the time. So after I have them, like, giving them shaking doggy syndrome, apparently... <laughs> then I will go ahead and shake off the bed and make my bed. So if you're wondering, I actually got this bedspread from Asda. We picked it up just the other week. It is an absolutely stunning bedspread and I thought I cannot wait to put this on my bed. So once we put it on the other day, it was just so beautiful and bright and absolutely cheery. I totally love it and for £12 I am in love. And next I'm going to go ahead and take some of this Febreze Blossom and Breeze fabric freshener and go ahead and spray my bed, the curtains, the dog beds and basically anywhere else that I could spray because I absolutely love the smell of this stuff. And the last step for me in cleaning is just to go ahead and make sure I've picked up everything, put everything in its place. Any jumpers that were on the chairs, um, anything that was left on the floor, put back my pillows, pick up and clean up underneath my desk, which is just usually sorting the wires, my tripods and all that stuff. I put away all my filming supplies and then I go ahead and polish my desk and also all of the furniture on my nail space side of the room. And then the very last thing I did today was go ahead and take a sweeping brush and a shovel and just go around my room and give it a good sweep. So I went underneath everything, moved everything out of the way and made sure, since we've got wooden floors, it seems to just attract dust. So I really like to go ahead and make sure I've got everything. And I promise that's not big clumps of dirt on my floor. My dog, we bought him a new toy from um, Pets at Home and it had like brown sort of like feathers and he absolutely plucked the thing to death and they're actually just playing on the bed now with the squeaker from the inside so they may be tiny but they're absolute little monsters so now I'm just going to go ahead and sweep up all that dirt pop it in the bin and then put the trash in the outside bin so guys, that's us finally reached the end of today's video and this is what my room looked like once everything was nice and clean. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. I know it was totally out there compared to anything that I've ever done before. It's my very first time in front of the camera and I was so nervous. But please excuse my dodgy pyjamas number one and my dodgy hair number two. And if I was a little bit uncomfortable in front of the camera, it's something that I will work on, I promise. So as always guys, thank you so much for watching and I really hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up, I would totally appreciate it. And if you're new to my channel, hello, my name is Kylie, I am a complete nail polish addict. And on this channel you will find everything from nail art, two swatches, reviews and the occasional haul. So if that's something that piques your interest, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and don't forget to click that notifications bell. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!